Hello and welcome back to Open Vows for the Burgundian Conquest. We are, uh, well, we're basically trying to make sure that France doesn't become independent. And apart from that, there's not a lot more to it. We are also making an army to do this, which is nice. It gives us our mission, which is who gets more men than Switzerland currently have. Okay, Bohemia will give Posnia to Hungary. Okay, right. Uh, Bohemia they will then give Sweden some of their income. And we get two ducats. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, do we have royal marriages with everyone? We don't have a royal marriage with France. We need that royal marriage, but they won't give it to us because they're above 50%. Okay, they should give it to us very soon. We just won Protect Against Switzerland. That allows us to get just below the amount for France, and we'll get them royal marriage, which will lower the liberty desire by 15, I think? Um, must just be by 5? 5-5, five, five, yeah. That's okay. Oh, we also get a bonus for having the same ruling dynasty. Well, I guess we had that anyway. Okay, none of those look good, so we'll take one and cancel it. And let's see, have we got anyone else we need a royal marriage with? We need a royal marriage with Brandenburg. Brandenburg, you want that royal marriage? Yeah, you do. Well, we'll stop maintaining relations with France. Right, now we have our diplomats free again. Uh, we can start improving relations with the Commonwealth. That's alright. Let's do that. And, yeah. We're a pretty good situation. Anything else we really need to be worrying about? Don't think so. Uh, we'll just keep things going as they are. Seven, four of your seven ports are blockaded. Eh, oh well. Um, yeah, we'll take the yearly prestige out of that event. That's a good event to get. It means that we're going to stick at this amount of prestige each year. Very nice. 60 prestige is a very high number to get, so. It gives us a lot of bonuses, which I'm quite happy to keep. Yes, I do still have the mouse, which is bugging out. It's, uh, get, it's starting to get more and more annoying. But that's fine. Uh, Hess will release Nasu as a sovereign state and give us... Oh, we're not, this isn't our war. Okay, who's going to peace out next in this war? It's still the Livonian Order, actually, since from uh, last episode. Once Sweden finishes this siege, they should... That should be it. I think. Okay, natives lose a whole bunch of size. And settler chance goes down or settler chance goes up. Okay, so settler chance goes up. That was an easy choice. War taxes? Do we need them? No. Okay. We'll not pay for war taxes. Uh, people have accepted peace with Austria. It's East Frisia. And Lorraine. So they're both out of the war as well. So it's just the big powers in the war now. Uh, Ottomans have kind of gone into central Spain for some reason. They, I guess it's fine. Lorraine have also peaced out of Munster. I guess Munster just kind of uh, attacked people who were in this uh, league war, basically. So that's a smart idea. I see, are people like Liège in the League War? Ah, they're not. Is there anyone who, like Lorraine who has no allies left? Or allies who are only in the League War? That would be an interesting idea. Attack someone who's only on our side in the League War? Now with allies who are only on our side? Do we have claims on stuff? We do. So Utrecht is not in the League They are in the League War on our side, damn. Munster. They're not in the League War. They're allied with Livonian Order. Riga, Switzerland, and Liège. Okay, Switzerland are not in either league war. So that's that one out. Uh, okay, Liège. Riga, Münster, Platinet, Saxony, Warsburg. Riga. Riga are not in either war. Okay. There's nobody super easy to attack is what we're getting at here. Lorraine maybe are easy to... Mainz, Thuringia, and Lübeck. Lübeck, Thuringia, Mainz. They have no allies who we do not like have in the war. We could attack Lorraine. You cannot declare in the war if they're members of the Empire if you're already at war. Oh, Munster can do it because they are in the Empire, I think. I think that's why they can currently attack um, people inside the Empire. While this is happening, but Austria cannot. Oh no, they can do it because they wouldn't get penalties from it anyway. Yeah, okay. East Frisia will cede uh, 
on the spook to Munster. But Munster is like, they're just growing. Oh, gallery now exists. Um, interesting. We have a claim against them? Yeah. Are you part of the Empire? Yeah, these Starks part of the Empire. That's annoying. Yeah. Uh, anyone else you want to improve relations with? No, really, just the Commonwealth. That's fine. Um, Galway entered into military alliances with everyone, so we lost our chance. It was a very, very small chance anyway. So Frizzy entered into a military alliance with them. Cool. I guess we'll just kind of wait for the war to end, like we've been doing. Trade efficiency goes down or we lose Diplo power. How long is the trade efficiency down for? 10 years. That's not good. Trade steering going up though. Uh, we'll take we'll take the 10 years. That's fine. We, we can cope. We can cope. Right. Um, advancement of nobility. Nobility gains influence. Okay. Not a problem, really. Uh, Livonian Order. You gonna peace out with them soon? I thought it was that right there, but nope. Nope. Where's Sweden sent its army? Yeah, why aren't you peacing out for Livonian Order if you sent your army away? That makes no sense. Also, you should probably peace out of Muscovy, although Muscovy's gonna fall apart to rebels, so maybe it's all part of a strategy. Um, none of that's worth taking. Yeah, we'll take one and cancel it. We lost the Cassus Belly. Oh no. What a shame. What a shame. Our colonies are doing very, like, alright. There's a really high chance that they get extra people each month. It's like, it's going well. Salzburg will give them some stuff and we get seven ducats. Yeah. War score went down though because we lost uh, sieged provinces. Because um, they pieced out of sieged provinces. Um, okay. Ottomans are fighting the Austrian rebels. That seems bad. Okay, so we can hmm, we can either lose legitimacy or or uh, advent points. We're gonna lose the advent points, and they lose ten loyalty. That puts them below a level that I like, but we could possibly bump them back up again. So we want to bump them up up again. We lose five prestige for loyalty. Yeah, we'll do that. And we're, we're tending towards 60 at the net right now for prestige, so that's alright. We do have a lot of rebels that are popping up because our war exhaustion is high. Because they won't ever actually end this war. It's uh, very annoying. Oh well. We'll keep going. Heretics have risen up. Cool. Diplomats have stopped trying to improve relations. Recall those diplomats. Uh, what are we going to do now? We could improve relations with Portugal. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, they're not going to exist for much longer looking at how much they're losing the war. But, you know, that's fine. Doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, I actually wonder how they lost that war that badly. I guess it's, they must just have no fleet from some reason, for some reason. Hmm, okay. Uh, what have we got? Penal col colony. We can either have unrest for local settler increase or we lose admin points. Unrest for local settler increase. Fine. That works for me. It's not going to be in my province anyway. It's going to be my vassal's province. And they can deal with the problems. Okay. Sweden have sieged a lot. We have Utrecht sieging as well. Uh, Ottomans are doing very well sieging their stuff and getting the small armies around the place. They haven't really done a good job of sieging my uh, core, but, you know. I might give some land back to France, which would be very nice. It's all occupied by France, so... Uh, it would be nice. Although, if France get too much development, they're then going to be too strong and they're going to want liberty. Uh, it's, that, it's, a, it's a constant balance, isn't it? Ooh, Muscovy will cede lots to Sweden. Sweden have really grown into Muscovy. Yeah, that is great for Sweden. Really bad for Muscovy. Also, great for Kiva, who is massive. Yeah, that is... That is just going to be free eating for Kiva. It's going to be split three ways here. Well, four ways maybe. Well, three ways because Kiva's blocking off the uh, straight as well. Hmm. Okay, that'd be pretty cool. Also, we got we got mission rival of rival. 
Lubeck's opinion of us is at least 100. What's Lubeck's opinion of us now? 37 with no improved relations? Okay, let's do it. Rival of rival. Improved relations. There we go. No problem. Livonian order will cede a whole bunch to Sweden. Okay, well, one promise to Sweden. And they'll give them some money, and we get eight ducats. Great. Like eight ducats. Right. Anything else we need to be doing? Platinum will give stuff to Bavaria. Cool. And they'll give stuff to Mainz. Uh, the uh, trade good changed fur. Okay. Colonial border conflict. Okay. So, it looks like New Burgundy and Canada are having problems. So we can either lose prestige to let them sort it out. We can sort out the differences for diplo power, or we can like gain or lose dip liberty desire either way for them. Um, I don't really want to gain or lose diplo power, so we're going to lose the prestige. It tends to 60, so it's not too bad, but it's unfortunate. Nuremberg pieced out, they gave us uh, two ducats. Great. Let's see who else we've got going on. Ottomans are winning more reb wars against rebels. Cool. Cool. And natives have uprisen. It might even be good to peace out of this war really, really early. If we peace out of this war right this very second with Austria, what we could do is we could then attack. Yeah, we want to peace out and attack, I think. Now that I think about it, that seems like the best solution. Right. I would like to peace out with you, Austria. We're going to take some penalties for separate peace. Uh, we do have 10 war score, actually. It means that France doesn't get a lot of its land, but that might be good. Oh, could we get Kliev? We have a claim on Kliev. Uh, wait, we have a core on Kliev, don't we? No, this is claim. I thought it said core for a second. We also have a claim on Sungar. If we ditch our... Wait, which one could we get? We could get uh, Sungar as well. Instead. No, we couldn't. Okay. Um. Hmm... Kliev would be a good one to get. It's, like, within our range. It's kind of land we want. We we lose out on getting it, though. Like, we lose out a little bit on actually getting that land, but... I think that could be good. If we just grab Kliev... I don't think Sweden are giving us land. That's, that's what I'm getting at here. Hmm... We could wait till Sweden siege this province and then perhaps they'll give us more war score? Alright, we're gonna wait till these provinces are sieged. Yeah, that's siege. That gives us personally more war score. So that could allow us to take Sunga if we wanted to. Um hmm. That's not too bad. Do I want to though? It is uh, a province that's got quite a lot of development. But Kliev is also a province that's got some development. And it's in the low counties, I think. Geographical map mode, regions. Um, wait, what's the regions up here called? Low counties, low counties. Right, so this is low counties. Kliev is not in the low counties, actually. It's just outside the low counties. Uh, hmm. Okay. We can grab it anyway. Yeah, okay, we'll grab a peace out and then go to war. They accepted the peace offer. We lost a couple of stuff. We can convert it to our religion and core it. Let's core it. And then we're going to go to war uh, with somebody. How about uh, Lorraine? We have a couple of cores on Lorraine. I, like, I want my cores back. Six days. Rear will give stuff to Gallery. It says. And they'll, and they'll give course Nassau to Nassau. Okay. I want to go to War of Lorraine, please. Okay. Austria will not join in. Lubeck will not join in. Because they are currently in their other war. They have high war exhaustion. And Thuringia will not join in. Because they're fighting war on the same side as the enemy. Oh, they're fighting a war on our site? On this war? Yeah. Fantastic. I knew there was a reason we were in this war. Right. Oh, so is Sweden, actually. 
I didn't notice that Sweden was in this war. That's kind of cool. But if we declare war on Lorraine now, it's going to be just Lorraine versus just us. We don't want to take that. We want to take our cores back. How many men did Lorraine have? Not enough is the answer. Declare war for our claim, for our cores. We will now put a new leader in charge. We'll put a leader in charge and we'll go and beat them up. Uh, okay, we got some new Cass's belly, but that's fine. Just destroy Lorraine's army. Hmm. Okay. So we can get tariff value or we can get points. Now, does tariff value. What does tariff value actually affect? Is that just how much money we get? Yeah, I don't think tariff value affects liberty. Oh, tariff does affect liberty, the Tsar. Okay. Um, so we get an extra 5%, or we can just get add. We can just get points. Yeah, we'll just get points. That's fine. I like points. Points are good. I don't see the problem in just getting them. We're going to try and chase down their army, I think. It's not perfect, because we have to take that little odd route round, but that's fine. Spain will re release Auvergne as a uh, sovereign state. Protestant becomes the official religion of the Holy Roman Emperor and Austria will pay money. That now means that the Platinum instantly becomes the Emperor. Perfect. That's great. That means that our wars can actually start happening like because we'll be attacking against the Platinum. Protestant Empire happened to us. A missionary strength, tolerance of true faith, yearly, yearly legitimacy and Imperial authority. Wait, do we just get we get that? Oh cool, we get the extra missionary strength and the extra legitimacy. Oh that's great. Even though we're not in the Empire? Because we were in the war, I think. Um I'm happy with that. We'll split our army in half and siege both of these provinces at the same time. I like that as well. Ooh, we can call our allies to war. Would you just accept a call? Uh, it would cost us favors. I don't really need to give to call them into war then. Um, we can invest in new technology and military tech. Instead of investing in military tech, what we could do is we could do something else with our military tech. Like something that I have thought of in advance. Which I haven't. So, um, maybe we could improve some, like, development in the good province. Just improve a couple of these developments here. I'll be fine. Okay, trade protection against the Commonwealth doesn't really matter. Whole bunch of things changed here. Lots of people st stopped supporting independence and all sorts. We need a new best guess as well. Cool. If we actually have a look at the Empire. Oh, somebody's trying to elect us to be in head of the uh, Empire. That's Brandenburg. He's voting for us. Those two are voting for the Platinum, and one of them is the Platinum. That's cool. So if we were to somehow negate the planet, we could actually, guess, push ourselves in charge. That would be great. If we became the Emperor, that would solve a lot of our issues, actually. As a, as a whole, being the Emperor would uh, solve a lot, a lot of our issues. I don't know if we, can we could actually add provinces to the Empire at that point. I don't know if we could actually become a member. Are we a prince in the Empire? I forget. We are not a prince at all. Oh, they're not voting for us anymore. They're voting for Brandenburg because they made Gallery in charge. Uh, Portugal will cede Tangiers to Morocco. And Fez to Tunis. Yeah, that's not, that's not good for Portugal. Spain, please don't attack us and ruin the loveliness I'm having here. Oh, who honored their alliance? The Rangia? The Rangia? Why, why would you do that? Yeah, you also have all your troops uh, black flag, so good, good luck joining in. Army reformer died. Okay, do we need a new person in charge of army reforming? Yeah. Now, uh, let's put this land maintenance modifier guy in. That will actually save us a lot of money. Um, Anyone in here we want? Maybe missionary strength? Yeah, we'll grab the missionary strength guy. When we want to um, convert Klievs, that'd be great. I'm not giving you champagne, France. No matter how much you want it. Your liberty desire is too high. I can't do it. I mean, I could do it, but I don't want to do it. Ah, uh, I mean, what would that... What is their total development? Is there a way of seeing that? Uh, because if it's over 300, then that's a problem. There's no way of just checking. That's annoying. Uh, so what we got? We got 76... It's not development, is it? Because they're way over 300. 
like, um, uh, over 100 total. It must just be over 100. I thought 300 was also a target, but, like, if we look at them here, we got 76. That's, uh, so like, 160. That's, like, a, that's almost 100. Let's go for 260. That's way over 300. No, and this one as well. Yeah, that's way over 300. That is development, right? Well, that's how much it costs to improve. Oh, the development is 14. Uh, 31. 49. 50. 65. Uh, that would be... Never do math. That would be 89. That would be 110. And that would be 127. We could actually give them champagne. For very little. Nobility gains loyalty, we lose prestige. Or nobility loses loyalty and... We'll gain loyalty, that's fine. We have to lose our prestige, but I can cope with that. Again, it tends towards 60, so it actually keeps going up. The amount we get each month. Uh, we need a no new raw marriage with uh, the Commonwealth over here. We will grab that. Uh, raw marriage, there we go. Make sure that that stays around. And then we're about to get the last province. Very, very soon. Very, very soon, as I said again. Expecting it to actually happen this time. Okay, and... No. Is that Liberty Desire from France? Yeah, it can't be having with that Liberty Desire, France. What's, what's, what's up? Why are you so liber... Liberal? Yeah. I don't know. What, what What's really pushing them here? Better Diplotech? Really? Is that it? Or, and their trust? Can we boost their trust in any way? Not really. We give them more land. That would maybe boost their trust. It would maybe just get, make their liberty desire so high. Huh. I don't know. I, I need this last province before I peace out with you. I'm sorry. Um. Hey, I want my cores back. Um, I would like you to give Champagne to France, because that's their core. I could just take Metz as well. We actually have really, really low aggressive expansion. Would someone join a coalition if we did this? Yeah, okay. We'll just take these three provinces. There are three cores that are ours. That seems reasonable that we take them. Like, it, costs us, it actually has no penalty to just taking those. Lorraine is now small again, and we are large again. Cool. France, your, li your liberty desire is too high. We just gave you your core back. W what is your problem? Did that not get your trust? Uh, okay. L unlawful territory, really? What's unlawful? Um, which province? Kliev's. Oh, that's fair enough. We're going to decline, but it's fair, wait, it's fair enough. I thought it was going to be on the other two. Uh, let's go send our people up there. What's the uh, supply limits that? It's only 27, so we'll send one up to the coast. Uh, I only want to send you to Tlieb, so I want to send... There we go. That works. And I think this is a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.